The premeditation of evils. What does this mean? There's a concept, I read it in one of these Ryan Holiday books recently, and I realized that it applied to how I practice law a good bit. And the illustration there is, I think it's an old stoic concept where you, you look at all the things that could go wrong before the event happens. So in, in Holiday's book, it's the obstacle is the way. So says, all right, the business owner comes in and says, all right, our launch was a huge failure. What happened? Well, the book, the launch had not happened. You know, there's a business leader going to their team saying, what are all the things that could go wrong here? And you try to think about them ahead of time and then you have a game plan for them. So I think that it it helps you look positively, you know, in a, in a good light at what could go wrong and then try to prevent it or come up with a plan if it does. So it, it softens those things that go wrong and then helps extinguish the ones that you can't. To me, a lot of that is what legal is and other things with your business. You are trying to exercise this premeditation of evils. What are the things that could go wrong? Well, you, you know, from the legal perspective, you could get sued. You could have a client not pay you. You could have someone talk bad about you. You could have a client uh, steal maybe a contractor of yours. You could have someone steal your uh, idea, your intellectual property, your brand, all sorts of things like that. You could get uh, sued on a debt. You could get claimed for an injury. You could, you know, these are the your legal problems that we are looking to avoid. So how do we avoid the legal side of this? The business side, I'm gonna leave that part up to you. But the legal side, this is what you do. You get an LLC in place. So that helps protect your personal assets. If someone gets injured or your product injures somebody or your service somehow injures someone and it's catastrophic, you get an LLC. You should consider getting quotes on insurance. That's another layer to protect you. So that will help you sleep at night saying, all right, the most catastrophic worst case injury should not go outside of this LLC that, that's created. Other things that I mentioned are, what if someone doesn't pay or they don't show up for a session or you know they start disparaging you online or trying to poach your clients or employees or independent contractors? You can script all this stuff in your contracts with that person. So you can use LLCs and contracts to create a business that is well protected, but also fair with your clients. They want to know what to expect and say, this is the deal we had. We can now go enforce it. So the great thing about the drafted legal templates is that they are uh, industry driven. So if you're a coach, they talk about sessions. What happens if people cancel? If you're fitness, they talk about what happens if people get injured. Um, so they're they're tailored to that industry, even though not tailored to you personally. Uh, we obviously always recommend going to a lawyer, but you know, we started our business, you know, lean on a budget. So we totally understand and provided drafted legal as a great option. If you're looking to skip the hourly rate, skip the law firm, you can use drafted legal. And of course, if you do need a law firm, you go to Henderson and Henderson, hhlawsc.com is our real life daily practice. And you can go to that if you need personalized, customized advice. But I hope this helps you understand how legal plays in. I thought the thought of this premeditation of evils fit in so well to the practice of law and in the practice of business. You obviously aren't trying to run scared from things. You just want to know what's out there. See what, see it and try to plan for it the best you possibly can. I hope this mentality helps. I hope some of these strategies help. Best of luck in your business.